So one other thing about the jigsaw, um, it's a pretty versatile tool. So this one that I have is a very quick, rough cut. You can see it has very few teeth. The teeth are very big. They're pretty jagged. This is a great um, option for when you are doing something that called, well, these are really big, but speed wood. Um, these are great if you're trying to cut up pallets and you don't really care like what it looks like. Pallets are incredibly difficult to, to cut up. So this is a good option for that. But there are some other options here. So if you're doing really little detailed work, you can see uh, the TPI. So that's 12 teeth per inch. The more teeth per inch, the cleaner the cut is going to be. The words TPI on here. This one has 12 TPI. You can see a lot of teeth. This one has 10 TPI and 8 TPI. We'll come back to this one in a second. So this is if you want to get like really detailed, nice, clean cuts and you're planning to make lots of turns. It's a, a scroll, sort of like a scroll saw. This one's going to make pretty clean cuts in there um, with the 10 TPI. And this one's going to be faster, but not as fast as this guy's going to be, especially for something like pallet wood. And then the other option that's a little surprising, I think most people don't know, is you can do, um, you can do some metal. And there are a couple of different blades for the metal work. So here's one. If you have just a medium metal, it has 24 TPI. For a thicker metal, it's going to have fewer teeth. Um, and it's going to cut it a little more jagged, but it'll be better for something that is a thick metal. And you can actually use the jigsaw to cut off uh, like a little end of a pipe or a bolt or something. Um, and all of these, it doesn't matter what kind of shank, they all fit inside of your jigsaw.